Hi, I am Dr. Chandrika Kulkarni. I am a fertility specialist at Cloud9, Jainagar, Bengaluru. Implantation, which involves the embedding of the embryo, embryo, the zygote, into the endometrium. This is not always a foolproof procedure. One needs to understand the chances of pregnancy when a blastocyst is transferred, that is a day 5 embryo is transferred, is around 40 to 50 percent. That does mean that 50 percent of the times the embryo gets implanted. That is half of the time, that means in if 100 patients undergo the procedure, 50 of them would have gotten pregnant. The rest of the 50 wouldn't have gotten pregnant. Now, what could be the reason for this implantation failure? First of all, it could be the embryo which is at fault. Even though we say that the embryo is of good quality, we are talking about the look of the embryo, that is the morphology of the embryo. Even though the embryo is morphologically normal looking, it could be aneuploid. Aneuploid means the chromosome and abnormality can still be there. So these are the embryos which fail to implant. Another thing is endometrial receptivity. Endometrium may not be receptive at that particular stage. So this prevents pregnancy. We call the embryo endometrial interaction is very important for implantation. When this fails, be it because of the embryo itself or because of the endometrium, that leads to implantation failures. Also, there could be other reasons like antibodies in the mother which can lead to implantation failure.